Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your host, The Rock. And today is a very special day in Brawl Stars. And that is because it is the day of the release of the very first free brawler. And that is Edgar. And we have him in the shop right here. And we're just going to pick him up right now. And there he is. The very overpowered and extremely close range brawler that absolutely everyone is going to be playing. Well, let's get to maxing him. I think the first order of business is to put all these old power points on him. Let's get started with that. And the last one here brings us to 1000. Time to switch over to the boxes. After this one, I think we should go check on what we've done so far. And here we are, we're at the most fun part of when a new brother comes out. That's spam leveling him up. I mean, you gotta agree with me. Isn't it just so satisfying to see a brawler go from 1 to 9, like 10 seconds? We don't have him quite to 9, but we're not that far away either. Let's keep opening up the boxes. Ooh, star power. Nice. And a gadget. Let's go. And this is the last box for Edgar. Power 9. Let's go. Well, let's hope we get lucky and get a star power or a gadget. Nice gadget, but not the one we're looking for. Now we only have mega boxes. Let's go ahead and open up the first one. Ooh, we do get something. Is it gonna be a star power gadget though? Wait. Wait! No! No way! Let's go! We got Amber! No way, that's insane! Oh my gosh. Like, before this box opening, I thought, like, maybe we could get Byron because he's my only mythic left. I mean, we had a decent chance in that, but legendary? Oh my gosh, let's go. That was an insane pull, but we have to get back to the boxes, see if we can get a star power gadget. Anything in here? Nope. Just amber power points. We're gonna get a lot of power points for amber from this too. So this one too? Nope, nothing in this one. I believe we only have two left now. Nothing in that one. And the last one, fingers crossed we get something. No, we didn't. That's totally fine by me, though. We got a legendary. Now it's time to spam level up Amber. How many levels are we gonna get? We got to four. Got to five. Got to six. Ooh, we're all the way up to seven. That's actually really good. I only opened up, like, four mega boxes, and we already have her to seven. Well, that's gonna be it for the box opening part of this video, but there's still so much more to come. I'm going to be playing Edgar for the next day, day and a half, and I'll get back to you on my thoughts on him, and how broken he is, and some tips and tricks on how you should be able to play him. Hey guys, I'm back. It's actually been two days, but I was busy yesterday, so that doesn't really count. My initial thoughts on Edgar when I was much lower in trophies was like, he is absolutely broken, because he was able to get so many cubes at the beginning just absolutely wreck people and always have his super, which was really nice, but as I started to climb in ranks, it started to get harder to get my super to begin with and to collect boxes during the beginning, which is when it's always going to be easiest to be able to get them. I want to show you guys this solo match, since this match actually shows a lot of the strengths and weaknesses of Edgar. So first of all, I can get that first box really easy, it's just sitting there with no one to contend with, any brawler would be able to do that. But now is where I start having trouble. I can't really go into boxes because I don't have my super yet. Now this gadget would be able to fix this a lot. You would be able to go really aggro, aggro in the beginning and just jump out whenever you want. Now here's when I actually get my super. 
and now I'm able to go in after the boxes. With Edgar, it's really nice to have a few power cubes. It makes him so much better. I mean, you can work with only one or two power cubes, but it's a lot better if you have four or five. That's because you can get so much health back when you're trying to take down someone. Right now, I don't have any more boxes to collect, and I don't see anyone that I can jump on very easily. So I'm just stalling at this point. So I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about his best modes. Keep in mind that all of these are just in my opinion. I think his best mode is actually going to be Solo Showdown, since if you have this gadget, you're going to be able to get so many boxes in the beginning, and with those boxes you're going to be able to take down just about any brawler that isn't like a Shelly or something. And even then, if you play it right, you can still take him down. His second best mode is Brawl Ball, and that is because you can get on the ball so easily and shoot it in, and you can get on enemy teammates and win your lane by pressure so easily. The problem you're going to have is when you run out of gadgets, which is going to be a problem in a lot of these 3v3 game modes. Present Plunder is third because of how easily he can take a present. No, I'm not going to bother rating the rest of the game modes, but it is good to mention that he might be really good in Bounty and Gem Grab. We're going to have to see how the meta develops. Getting back to the gameplay, you can see how easy it was for me to take out the Nani there. I had so little health but that those cubes, those three cubes, gave me a lot of health back. Here is a little bit of a weird situation, because I can't really jump on the Terra because then I would be low even if I did take her out, and then the bow could take me out. And if I jump on the bow, it's going to be hard for me to take out the Terra since he took out some of my health. But I'm going to try going for the bow anyway, because he just wasted a whole bunch of shots, and I just barely get out of range of that bow mine. And that health that I just got back from the Terra might have saved me, and that gives me the win. Why Pixelos is number one is because as you get higher in trophies, everyone's going to be so close together like that round where I was able to take out the Nani without even jumping on him. Edgar's versatility in solos and also his high DPS with close range, which your close range isn't actually going to matter that much when you get closer to the end of the match, is going to help him a lot. One more thing that makes Edgar better in solos than in other game modes is that he probably will not run out of gadgets. That's going to be a huge problem in 3v3. Thank you guys so much for watching my video this far. You have no idea how much that actually helps my channel. And I really hope that you actually learned something from this video today and also had fun with that box opening and that epic poll. I'll see you guys in the next one.